Explore art's beauty, a journey through modern history. The surprising, shocking, and sometimes strange story of 150 years of modern art. Take a trip down the history of modern art. Understand what makes art beautiful and learn to appreciate it more. Art is a mirror of its time. How can we start enjoying modern art? Will Gompertz give straightforward advice we can stop judging it as good or bad? Then we can try to understand how the history of art arrived, from the Renaissance made Mona Lisa to Balloon Dog, which sold for an insane price. Art is subjective, what appeals to you doesn't make sense to someone else. This summary's main idea is that any art movement and any ism was contemporary when it appeared. Why? Because political situations, social conditions, scientific discoveries, and technological progress always influence creative minds painters, writers, poets, and intellectuals, and they, in turn, impact art. Modernism's constant quest to find a single, all-encompassing solution to humanity's problems was considered to be silly, naive, and delusional by the postmodernists, Will Gompertz. The artist's role is simple, reflect on life and make commentary through art music, paintings, and drawings. The true nature of art doesn't change, but art expressions differ from generation to generation. The following sections focus on seven art movements, their origins, and underlying ideas. Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Primitivism, Cubism, Abstract Art including Suprematism and Neo, Plasticism, Dadaism, Surrealism. You will learn historical facts that have formed art movements and realize that every new idea is based on something already known. And from this point of view, the history of art becomes logical and leads us to modern galleries. Why is it important to learn? We live in an age of art. In the last 30 years, the art industry has made and sold more pieces than ever before. Museums have become places where everyone can find some entertainment, from an academic to a small child. We can even see art on the streets. Thus, we don't need to visit a museum to bring it into our lives. We are already a part of the art process. Let's see where it started and how it is going.